All right, so I just posted um, a spoof post on TradingView. I want to see if it gets some traction or if the results just aren't good enough. I had a profit factor of a little over 2.0. So, um, you know, that that's pretty good, right? That's pretty damn good. If you could just uh, invest into a fund that gives you 2.0 profit factors over just a few years, then I take that any time of the week. Um, anyway, so here we have profit factor 5.5 over the span list of trades. Go back over the span of, you know, a little over a year. So, yeah, that's that's quite good. You know, 500% returns in a single year. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. Sure. Thanks. Right? Yeah. Okay, now let's look at this. So, time frames with the best results. Okay, sure. Right? Now look at a random chart. This is euro used dollar. Um, now, now I just I just want to show you this, right? So first, let's click on this. Okay. Look at this. Same strategy on euro used dollar in one of the indicated time frames, and look at this. Suddenly, you have eighty five percent profit. Um, or percent profitable, which just means win rate, right? But win rate isn't your profit factor because look at this, right? Our average trade is losing us money. Um, we have ridiculously long trades that never end because there's no normal sense of stop losses here, which is really weird. Um, and just overall, that like just think about that. Think about the fact that someone's posting this and that back testing in this frame of mind means here's one chart on which it has really good results well really just trade any type of particular variable that you want and it's going to be profitable in some locations right um it's like saying hey after f five times heads um there's almost certainly going to be tails well if you believe that to be true you can always handpick an example where um in a series of 10 that happening 10 times or you have like a 70 percent win rate that's always going to happen right if you just take a whole bunch of coin tosses you can find that so I really like this right um i just i just i just think it's 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 marvelous look at this and look look at different time frames now look at five minutes oh okay 0.2 percent profitable yeah that's not a problem right That's not a problem. You know, it's not like, uh, I don't know, we're losing uh, almost as much as we made initially. Like, the profit factor goes as low as it goes high, right? So he has some neat techniques to code this up, but just look at this, right? It's just absolute bogus. Um, look at the one minute time frame, see if that gives us anything interesting at the chart. Oh, look at that. We have 13 trades and all of them are profitable, right? So the thing is, the more consistently uh, the win rate of a strategy goes up, the more it tends to have really, really bad losses or just no real runner like it doesn't really run up and you just scalp it a little bit um and then if you widen it it doesn't work anymore right really really what this is saying is it's almost impossible to find super obvious easy simple strategies using the main indicators out there on the main uh, currency pairs uh this is just mostly noise and being able to trade this is harder than just taking an automated strategy of our side below this level equals trade right because the market movers are aware of that and they're always going to move against you so really there's no point in even trying this you need to have an edge and your edge will always have to be something that someone else doesn't have have you ever heard jim jim simons or simmons talk about what he uses quantitatively to get an edge in the market no because as soon as he does that he loses his edge because then everyone knows and it's no longer an edge right you need to have information that other people don't um which is why the whole point of 
sharing trading ideas is moot to begin with because if it is profitable and people start using it um like macd strategies that will catch on to a point where it's no longer profitable on most given stocks uh or equities in the first place all right that's it for this one hope you filter out the bullshit and keep real